Welcome to the Tigerium Hangar. This is Mike coming at you with a video about the PlayStation 3 and why it's the greatest console ever made. First of all, the PlayStation 3 was a huge jump technologically from the PlayStation 2. So if you're looking over here, the PlayStation 1 was great. PlayStation 2 was an advancement from that because of the DVD storage space. You could put more space on there. The PlayStation 3 completely dominated and blew it all out of the water. I think it was the biggest revolution in gaming and uh, electronics in a long time. Uh, the cell processor on that, now it was hard to, it was hard to, to program for, but it's an awesome system. And the games on it are amazing. So one of the reasons I say this is the best game system ever made. So number one, every one of these systems plays PlayStation 1 games. So you can slap PlayStation 1 game in there, you can play your Crash Bandicoot on it, or you can just go spend 40 bucks and get the new Crash Bandicoot that's made for the PS4 and play it on the PS4. But the PS3, I've been playing uh, Crash Bandicoot on it for the last decade with my kids. They already know how to play it. When we got it on the PS4, they already had it, uh, knew how to play it, and it was, it was nothing too new to them, but it was fun to see the upgraded graphics. But they all play PlayStation 1 games. These two in the center play PlayStation 2 games. And this is proof of concept that you can have emulation on your PS4. They just choose not to put it in there. They choose not to put it in there for one simple reason. They want to charge you for the download. And the PlayStation 3, you can play your entire PlayStation 2 library. If you have one of these two models, there's also a 20 gig that I don't have. So this is the 60 with the bright silver and the opening door here to reveal all your extra storage. And they all have the four uh, USB ports. Then this is the 80. They took out this storage, uh, the mass media storage for cards, but you still have your four USBs. This 40 gig is scaled down. You only got the two USBs and it's fat and it overheats. 40 gigs suck. That's the worst model they made. But the fat, they're great. So you backwards compatible, uh, check. Now, Xbox 360 is dominating right now versus the PlayStation 3 and backwards compatibility because so many more games that I have on the PlayStation 2 I, I don't play because I don't want to risk these overheating. And Slim, for the Slim model, they took out backwards compatibility. But if you're crafty enough and you want to go through the trouble, I'm sure there's a way you can make your system uh, play old games in some way, shape, or form. Uh, look that one up. Just want to do a real quick controller comparison. The first controller they made was designed to look like this. Uh, had no, did not have the analog controls on it, and it worked great. I played on my Crash Bandicoot on that. I was, you're gonna hear me talk about Crash Bandicoot. Uh, that's not actually my favorite game. Ninja Shadow Warrior uh, is my favorite game. Ninja Shadow of Darkness. That's my favorite game I play on there. So anyway, they came out with these analog sticks so that you can play your, uh, you know, first-person shooters and all that kind of stuff on it, and that's great. You know. Uh, I still play my Crash Bandicoot with this kind of control scheme. Now, the PlayStation 2 controller looks the same. It is the same. It's just colored different. Now, there is some rumble inside this. This one is the not the DualShock 1. It doesn't have any rumble in it. I have DualShock 1s. But uh, the, the PlayStation 2 controllers, you can interchange them. You can put this one on PS1, this one on PS2. Works fine. Then you get to PS3 controller. Looks exactly the same. They look exactly the same if you ask me. But uh, of course you have a home button in the middle instead of switching to analog because you know you know it's analog uh, or whatever. The battery in this, the wireless is amazing. It's perfect. A, you don't have to go fumble for your own batteries or get an alternate battery and I've never had one fail yet. Never had a battery fail. I've had, what, six or seven Xbox 360 batteries that I bought that are official batteries that don't work anymore. So, you know, forget about that. Uh, PS4 controller, awesome controller. Only lasts me about four or five hours on one charge. This thing will last me two weeks. Two weeks on one charge. So, yes, the uh, controller, old school controller. I wish I could use it on the PS4 because it would last me a whole lot longer. Durable as heck. I've never broke one, ever. We've already broke two of these uh, PS4 controllers in my household. Next I want to talk about is games. These are top-notch, top-tier titles that cost $60, $70, $80 when they came out. Now, you can go get these games at GameStop for $3, well, not all of these, but most of them for like $3. The Resistance games, you can get all these Resistance games, $3 each at GameStop. Uh, the, these Transformers Fall of Cybertron, and I mean, of course, I'm into the Star Wars stuff, but 
these are ten dollar games and god of war you can get between five and ten bucks depending on which one you're getting and uh you know point out the collection so you play god of war collection and it's uh and then god of war origins origins itself has uh the psp versions of the games on it but you can get all the god of war games on this uh you cannot currently get all god of war games uh on the ps4 uh unless you're downloading it and paying and rebuying them all and you can't play these on the ps4 play them on the ps3 some of the other things uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about, and I really didn't realize it was that big of a deal, but like Genesis Collection. The Genesis. What's better than the Sega Genesis? Well, the PlayStation 3 is, because it can play Sega Genesis and PlayStation 3. So the games uh, right now, I say, is kind of a renaissance time for these games. Uh, they're selling super cheap. You can get ultra clearances if you uh, just look. And it's not really hard to find these games. Um, some of the downside, a lot of the games that play online only, the servers are going to be down or go down or whatever. So, you know, I'm not into those kind of games anyway. So if you're into the, like, online, uh, massive, multi, whatever, I don't care to play online. I mean, I do with my kids because they want to play Star Wars Battlefront. But I like playing games like Resistance and God of War and, uh, you know, uh, the Star Wars games, all the Star Wars Force Unleashed and... Uh, and all those. Here's more games I got for uh, GameStop. They were doing like a 4 for 10 sale, and so that really worked out pretty good. Next I want to talk about the multimedia capabilities of this machine. Now, you can slap in a DVD and play your DVDs. You can play Blu-ray. But this video I'm shooting right now on my uh, camera, I can just immediately slap it on a hard drive, put it on a PlayStation, and watch it on TV. Now, you can sort of do that sometimes on an Xbox 360, but a PS4, you gotta download a special video player, and then you have to go through a menu and navigate it, and it's not intuitive. The PS3 controller the buttons are mapped for play, stop, back, uh, fast forward, slow, all that. It's mapped, and once you learn it in five minutes, it's super easy to use. And it's probably the easiest controller that remote I've ever had. I even have the official controller for the DVD player. And frankly, I never use it. And it works okay. I mean, if you, it works like a traditional DVD player controller. But I think the controller, the game controller, works better than this thing. And lastly, I want to talk about price of the systems. So obviously, you're going to spend a lot more trying to get a, one of these systems. Now, you, even if you pay $100 or $200, that's still better than if you're paying the, the $600 when it first came out. And make sure they work. Play a game on them. Play them for like an hour or half hour, if you have the opportunity, if you're in a pawn shop or something. If you're buying it off some individual, then you might, it'd be a roll of the dice. But you can get a Slim, or you can get another, uh, any of the fat models for probably 30 bucks. So, uh, you know, try to get the controller and the hookups, but it's super easy. Uh, the power cords are very common. Uh, they're not proprietary. The USB uh, cords to charge these controllers are not proprietary. But check your controller, check everything out. Uh, this is Mike from the Tiderium Hanger. Tiderium Hanger out.